Our next lecture is a bit of a doozy. It's all about pixel basics, and you'll see that throughout the semester we might cover the same topic multiple times. When I do that, it's not because I forgot that we already covered something, but because whatever we're talking about is so important that we need to cover it multiple times to ensure that every single student who's taking Art 1280 Photoshop software will not only understand, but they will master these concepts. And the first time you're going to see something repeat is going to be in this new lecture on pixel basics. So take it with a grain of salt as we approach that portion of the lecture. If for some reason you already know it 100%, you've got it down pat, and you just don't need the review, you can skip over those slides or you can skip over the videos that cover those topics. But if, if you're not 100% um, confident in your abilities, in this case, to discuss um, resolution and to be able to explain what that is to someone else, pay careful attention as we review the concept because I might explain it in a different way the second or third time that we cover it that might make more sense to you. So with that being said, let's talk about our next lecture on pixel basics. And again, as I said in the module three introduction video, we're gonna take smaller steps and we're gonna start doing more and more uh, editing in Photoshop. This first lecture in module three um, doesn't have as much editing in Photoshop as some of the other lectures in this module, but we will do a little bit more editing than we did for Module 2. And so our objectives for this lecture are to define pixel and identify key differences between pixel and vector art images. And you should know after you're done watching this lecture what it is if you looked at it. If you looked at an image, you should know, oh, that's a pixel or that's a vector. Uh, two, we'll understand the importance of resolution and how it relates to image quality. Uh, pixels and or vector images. We will view images in pixels and in, in, in inches and we'll kind of discuss why you would want to take the approach of saying this is what the image looks at if I looks like if I look at it in terms of pixels versus if I'm looking at it in terms of inches. It has to do with the, your chosen output for that. We'll use the formula for calculated images for various platforms and demonstrate differences between image size and canvas size. We'll identify steps for cropping an image and explain differences between cropping an image and changing its resolution. I would say out of all the things that we're going to cover or all the learning objectives that we're going to cover in this lecture, number five is the most important. If you focus on one thing, focus on number five. And then we'll play around with using the rule of thirds to crop an image. We're going to do some stuff in addition to these, but these are our main objectives. When you're done with this lecture, you should come back to this page and say, I know all of these things. I've mastered them and I can move on to the next lecture.